Myers 8 by University of Cambridge ESOL Examinations in conjunction with Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyright. Hello. This is the Cambridge Flyers practice listening test. Test 1. Part 1 Listen and look. There is one example. Whose party is this? It's Harry's. Which boy is he? He's the one at the far end of the table. He's eating some pizza. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Who's that boy in the red T-shirt? That's Paul. He goes to my school. Where's his paper hat? It's fallen on the floor, but he doesn't know it yet. Sarah looks happy, doesn't she? Is she the little girl in the high chair? That's right. She's got a toy bear in her hand. Yes, and there's ice cream on her face. Look at Sally. She's whispering something, isn't she? No, I mean the other girl, the blonde one. Oh, yes, I see. She's got a birthday present in her hands. Have you met Emma? Is she the woman who's bringing the birthday cake in? No, not her. I mean the girl. She's wearing a T-shirt with stripes. Oh, yes, I see her. She's carrying some glasses to the table. Look, that's my cousin Richard, near the door. I can't see his face. No. He's going to turn the light off now. Then someone is going to cut the cake. Yes, and they're all going to sing Happy Birthday. Now listen to part one again. Who's that boy in the red T-shirt? That's Paul. He goes to my school. Where's his paper hat? It's fallen on the floor. But he doesn't know it yet. Sarah looks happy, doesn't she? Is she the little girl in the high chair? That's right. She's got a toy bear in her hand. Yes, and there's ice cream on her face. Look at Sally. She's whispering something, isn't she? No, I mean the other girl, the blonde one. Oh, yes, I see. She's got a birthday present in her hands. Have you met Emma? Is she the woman who's bringing the birthday cake in? No, not her. I mean the girl. She's wearing a T-shirt with stripes. Oh, yes, I see her. She's carrying some glasses to the table. Look! That's my cousin Richard, near the door. I can't see his face. No, he's going to turn the light off now. Then someone is going to cut the cake. Yes, and they're all going to sing Happy Birthday. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. 
Now, everyone, listen carefully. Tomorrow, we are going to cook something together. Oh, good. What do we need to bring? Please bring a big bowl. Okay. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. I want you to bring some other things from home. Please write them on a piece of paper now. Do we have to bring flour, miss? No, you don't. We already have some. But I want you to bring sugar, butter, and eggs. Okay, miss. What are we going to cook? They're called scones. They are a kind of cake. Do you spell that S C O N E S? Yes, that's right. How many scones are we going to make? There will be enough to make 48, so everyone can take some home. How long does it take to cook them? An hour? No, it only takes 10 minutes. Are they nice, miss? Oh, yes. They're lovely when they're warm. You can eat them with jam. Now listen to part two again. I want you to bring some other things from home. Please write them on a piece of paper now. Do we have to bring flour, miss? No, you don't. We already have some. But I want you to bring sugar, butter, and eggs. Okay, miss. What are we going to cook? They're called scones. They are a kind of cake. Do you spell that S C O N E S? Yes, that's right. How many scones are we going to make? There will be enough to make 48, so everyone can take some home. How long does it take to cook them? An hour? No, it only takes 10 minutes. Are they nice, miss? Oh, yes. They're lovely when they're warm. You can eat them with jam. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Mr. West works in a museum. Sometimes people give interesting things to the museum. Where did the people find these things? Where did you get all these interesting things, Mr. West? Well, people found them in all kinds of different places. Look at these butterflies. They're beautiful, aren't they? A man caught them in the jungle 50 years ago. He brought them to our city and gave them to us. Can you see the letter F? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. This looks very old. Yes, it is. Last year, a woman gave it to us. It was her grandfather's diary. He was a famous actor, so we were very happy to have it in the museum. She found it in an old suitcase in his house. We have a beautiful old plate in the museum, too. A man was working in his garden when he found it under some leaves. He took it to a police station and the police gave it to us. Wow, it's lovely. That's big. The drum? Yes. Perhaps it's the biggest in the world. Someone found it in the basement of an old college and gave it to us. A lot of people came to see it, but they can't play it. And what's the oldest thing in the museum? That's a good question, Sarah. It's this rock. It's a strange color, isn't it? A boy brought it to me and said, You can have this. It comes from the moon, I think. <laughs> He was wrong because it comes from the bottom of the sea. But it's very interesting, and students and teachers of science come here to look at it. What's your favorite thing in the museum, Mr. West? It's this box. It's full of gold. Two hundred years ago, some pirates found it in a cave on an island. 
They brought it to London and sold it. And now it's in this museum. Wow. Now listen to part three again. This looks very old. Yes, it is. Last year, a woman gave it to us. It was her grandfather's diary. He was a famous actor, so we were very happy to have it in the museum. She found it in an old suitcase in his house. We have a beautiful old plate in the museum, too. A man was working in his garden when he found it under some leaves. He took it to a police station, and the police gave it to us. Wow, it's lovely. That's big. The drum? Yes. Perhaps it's the biggest in the world. Someone found it in the basement of an old college and gave it to us. A lot of people came to see it, but they can't play it. And what's the oldest thing in the museum? That's a good question, Sarah. It's this rock. It's a strange color, isn't it? A boy brought it to me and said, You can have this. It comes from the moon, I think. <laughs> He was wrong because it comes from the bottom of the sea. But it's very interesting. And students and teachers of science come here to look at it. What's your favorite thing in the museum, Mr. West? It's this box. It's full of gold. Two hundred years ago, some pirates found it in a cave on an island. They brought it to London and sold it. And now it's in this museum. Wow. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What did Richard win in the competition? I won a competition at school today. Excellent. What did you win? A book? No, this time I won a CD. Hmm, you don't look very happy. Well, Mom, my CD player is broken, remember? Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What did Richard buy at the shop? Did you get those things from the shop for me? Yes and no. I bought the envelopes you wanted, but they didn't have any paper. And did you remember the dictionary? Oh, sorry, I forgot it. Two. What homework has Richard got tonight? Have you got any homework tonight? Well, I haven't got any math now. Why not? I did it on the bus, but I still have to read about a famous painter tonight for art. Your geography teacher never gives you any homework. Why is that? He does sometimes, Mom, but not this week. Three. Which of these is clean? I'm going to play football tomorrow morning, Mom. Oh, you didn't tell me. Your shorts are dirty. Oh, Mom, I can still wear them. Is my football shirt clean? No, I haven't washed that yet. But there are some clean socks in your cupboard. Four. How is Richard going to get to the football game? Can Dad take me to the game tomorrow? He can't. We've got a problem with the car. Can you go by bike? Yes. The game is early in the morning, and there isn't a bus at that time. I know. Five. What job does Richard want to do? Well, Richard, perhaps one day you'll be a famous footballer. Oh, Mom, I want to be a photographer. You know that. Are you sure? 
When you were younger, you wanted to be a pilot. I know, but I feel different now. Now listen to part four again. One. What did Richard buy at the shop? Did you get those things from the shop for me? Yes and no. I bought the envelopes you wanted, but they didn't have any paper. And did you remember the dictionary? Oh, sorry, I forgot it. Two. What homework has Richard got tonight? Have you got any homework tonight? Well, I haven't got any math now. Why not? I did it on the bus, but I still have to read about a famous painter tonight for art. Your geography teacher never gives you any homework. Why is that? He does sometimes, Mom, but not this week. Three. Which of these is clean? I'm going to play football tomorrow morning, Mom. Oh, you didn't tell me your shorts are dirty. Oh, Mom, I can still wear them. Is my football shirt clean? No, I haven't washed that yet. But there are some clean socks in your cupboard. Four. How is Richard going to get to the football game? Can Dad take me to the game tomorrow? He can't. We've got a problem with the car. Can you go by bike? Yes. The game is early in the morning, and there isn't a bus at that time. I know. Five. What job does Richard want to do? Well, Richard, perhaps one day you'll be a famous footballer. Oh, Mom, I want to be a photographer. You know that. Are you sure? When you were younger, you wanted to be a pilot. I know, but I feel different now. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Look at that bird. It's stolen that woman's sandwich. That's right. Can you colour the bird? Shall I colour it yellow? Yes, that's fine. Can you see the yellow bird? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write and draw. One. Can you see the empty table? Yes, I can. There aren't any people sitting there. OK. Just colour the top of it blue, but don't do the legs. All right. I've done it. Two. Can you see the two children? Yes. Shall I colour the child on the swing? No. Look at the child who's pushing the swing. Colour her skirt red. OK. I'll do that now. Three. I'd like you to write something now. Can you see the cafe? Yes. There's a kind of board above the door. That's right. Write the word spoon in the space. All right. Four. Can I draw something next? Yes, of course. Look at the woman. Which one? The one inside who's carrying some cups? No, the one who's sitting with her family and drinking tea. What shall I draw? Draw some spots on her dress 
and colour them green. Five. Can I colour one of the newspapers now? OK. Colour the one in the bin. Shall I colour it grey? Yes, that's fine. Look, you've finished now. Now listen to part five again. One. Can you see the empty table? Yes, I can. There aren't any people sitting there. OK. Just colour the top of it blue, but don't do the legs. All right. I've done it. Two. Can you see the two children? Yes. Shall I colour the child on the swing? No. Look at the child who's pushing the swing. Colour her skirt red. OK. I'll do that now. Three. I'd like you to write something now. Can you see the cafe? Yes. There's a kind of board above the door. That's right. Write the word spoon in the space. All right. Four. Can I draw something next? Yes, of course. Look at the woman. Which one? The one inside who's carrying some cups? No, the one who's sitting with her family and drinking tea. What shall I draw? Draw some spots on her dress and colour them green. Five. Can I colour one of the newspapers now? OK. Colour the one in the bin. Shall I colour it grey? Yes, that's fine. Look, you've finished now. That is the end of the Flyers Practice Listening Test 1. Hello. This 